I'm gonna show you how to make light and flaky pizza turnovers that you can use for appetizers or a quick lunch. We're gonna start off with our puff pastry squares. I like the pre-cut. This one is by Blue Pantry and I really love the texture of these pastry squares. First things first, you wanna make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna start off with our tomato sauce. I'm using a tomato basil sauce from ShopRite and this is one tablespoon. So I'm just using one tablespoon each. Use a little more on that one. You don't want these to overflow, so a little bit goes a long way when it comes to sauce. Next, we're gonna use our four cheese pizza blend. And for your cheese, you can sprinkle as little or as much as you want. I wanna cover up all my sauce. The more, the, the more cheese, the better. Yeah. Next, we're gonna add our pizza seasoning, and this is by William Sonoma. Highly recommend this pizza seasoning. I think it tastes so good. So just sprinkle a little bit in there. Okay, now we wanna make sure that our pastry squares will shut and not open while they're in the oven. So we have some egg wash, and this is just one egg that we whisked. You can whisk it with a fork, and then we're gonna take our silicone brush and use this to brush all the corners of our pastry square. Don't worry about the cheese, you can always put it right back in. And lastly, before we throw these in the oven, we wanna go ahead and fold them. So you wanna take one end, fold it over to the other end and press down the sides. You can use a fork to press down the sides empanada style, but I wanna leave them as is for today. And you're gonna do the same thing for the other one. The egg wash is going to be an adhesive that's going to stick both ends together like a glue. Now to make sure that these don't explode in the oven, we want to create cuts for moisture to escape. So just grab your scissor and cut two or three little slits into your turnovers. We're gonna brush a little egg wash on top of each. and throw a little bit of pizza seasoning right on top. And now these are ready to go in the oven. 